to Derwent Valley Reservoirs. Howden is the upstream reservoir. Uh, Derwent is in the middle of the Cascade and Lady Bower is the lowest reservoir in the three reservoir chain. Derwent and Howden reservoirs were constructed to supply water to the growing cities in um, the East Midlands and South Yorkshire where industry was increasing and the population uh, was increasing and there was an increased need for drinking water plus the water to supply industry. So they um, found that they needed additional water resources and decided on uh, the Upper Derwent Valley as a good site for building reservoirs. In this case, the water supply network that really was developed to virtually eradicate the risk of cholera. Around uh, the turn of the 19th to 20th century, cholera was quite a problem around the large cities of the UK. So the different cities were looking for solutions. So they then built Derwent and Howden between 1902 and 1915, with Howden completed in about 1912 and Derwent in 1915 and Derwent was finally filled in 1916. Each of them holds around about nine and a half uh, million cubic metres of water and uh, supply South Yorkshire and the East Midlands so that people were getting good quality drinking water um, routinely every day. Civil engineers designed the, the, water, the whole water treatment scheme. So from the, the dams and the reservoirs, through the water treatment works and the pipelines and networks that supplied the population downstream. The dams are uh, made of they're mass concrete, but with large lumps of masonry inside the, uh, in, the, in the concrete to fill up the voids. And then they're dressed with masonry to make them look nice. Following construction of the uh, Derwent and Howden reservoirs, they soon found that the, the demand was even greater than anticipated, and so they had to build the reservoir at Lady Bower just about 20 years later. So that was an additional 27 million cubic metres of water that also supplies the East Midlands and South Yorkshire. Civil engineers were also critical to its construction, both in terms of the initial construction and through its uh, later management. The dam there was raised in, about two, in the year 2000 to ensure that uh, the safe operation of the reservoir into the future. The dams are over 100 years old now, but they are just as relevant now as they were when they were built. Civil engineers will continue to need to maintain these reservoirs into the future so that whilst um, the, the dams may have been here for 100 years that they will still be here in a, another 100 years, 200 years and, and beyond so that we can keep on relying on that water to, uh, to supply the population downstream. I as the supervising engineer am responsible for making sure that the safety of uh, the, the dams and the reservoirs is maintained um, at all times and so that we can re rely on the water being there when we need it. Today the Dam Busters Raids are still commemorated at the Derwent Valley Reservoirs by uh, the RAF doing uh, fly pasts. The Derwent Valley Reservoirs were used for the practice for the Dam Busters Raids because the, um, the pilots were able to practice flying low over a, a reservoir with um, the towers that were about the same distance apart as the structures that they were looking to um, target in Germany. They had to fly at 18 metres above the water level and um, with the technology they had at the time it took an incredible amount of skill and so the practice here was invaluable to their making the mission a success. The Derwent Valley Reservoirs, are, whilst they are an on operational and industrial uh, structures. They're also a very popular visitors site. They offer a great recreational benefit to the population around the area as well. The 
uh, the cycling, walking, fishing that happens at the reservoirs is, um, is all part of the, the benefit of the civil engineering project that, uh, that was the Derwent Valley Reservoirs. Civil engineering is a fantastic career because it offers such variety in the work that you can get. No site is the same, whether you're looking at a, a concrete uh, hard dam behind us or an, an earth fill embankment, they're, they're all different. They all have different materials, different foundations, different topography that you're working in. The places you get to work in are, are fantastic too. So you get a great variety of work helping to really benefit society in uh, keeping the, uh, the infrastructure of the country um, in its top condition so that we can rely on it going into the future.